Making words shine. Using similes and metaphors in everyday English. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today we're diving into a captivating subject, one that will add color, richness, and creativity to your everyday conversations. We're going to explore similes and metaphors, specifically focusing on how they can enhance communication in everyday language. Similes and metaphors, collectively known as figurative language, are ways of comparing one thing to another. They're powerful tools used to convey ideas more vividly. A simile directly compares two different things using the words, like, or as. For instance, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Here, life is compared to a box of chocolates, conveying the unpredictability of life. A metaphor, on the other hand, makes this comparison without using like or as, often by stating that one thing is another. Time is a thief is an example of a metaphor. It's saying that time steals away, just like a thief, emphasizing how quickly time can pass. Now that we understand what similes and metaphors are, let's focus on their role in communication. Figurative language, such as similes and metaphors, brings vibrancy and depth to our everyday language. Similes and metaphors capture attention and make language more memorable. They can simplify complex ideas by comparing them to familiar things, making your communication more effective. Let's say you're describing how fast someone is running. You could simply say, he is running fast. But, if you say, he runs like a cheetah, you not only show that he's running fast, but also paint a vivid image in the listener's mind. The key to using similes and metaphors effectively is practice. The more you use them, the more naturally they will come to you. To get started, try thinking of common experiences or feelings and see if you can find a creative way to express them. For example, if you're feeling very hungry, instead of just saying, I'm very hungry, you could say, I'm as hungry as a bear after hibernation, or, I'm a lion ready for a feast. Remember, the beauty of similes and metaphors lies in their creative use. So don't hesitate to invent your own. And there you have it. You're now equipped with the knowledge to start using similes and metaphors in your everyday language. With a sprinkle of practice, these little gems of figurative language will soon make your conversations more engaging and enjoyable. Remember, language is a playground, so have fun experimenting with it. Until next time, keep learning and keep practicing.